Hello and welcome to The Daily. It is Thursday, May 9th. I'm Andrew Wiebe. Next to me, Simon Borg. And Simon, a huge night in MLS on Wednesday night. Six games, plenty of drama, plenty of late goals, but by far the best. The one that everyone is talking about this morning, Thierry Henry, a moment of magic for the New York Red Bulls in that 2-1 victory against the Montreal Impact. It's the best goal we've seen thus far in MLS this year. Shep Messing on the broadcast called it the goal of the decade. Beautiful execution on a bicycle kick. We've seen him try this in the past. He finally nailed it here. Uh, and luckily for the Red Bulls that Henri shows up in these big moments because I don't feel they played a great game. Mike Petke echoed those comments. They don't play well, but they continue to win. For Montreal, Devayo comes on, almost gets him an equalizer. Uh, late, he was offside on that one. But you question, why didn't Devayo start? Mm -hmm. If you're going to bring someone off the bench, make it Andrew Winger. Certainly, they're looking ahead to these games this week. And New York now in first place on 20 points in Eastern Conference. Not alone, though, the Houston Dynamo also on 20, although with two games in hand, Simon. They went to D.C. We've talked a lot this year about their road struggles. That did not show up in this game. A 4-0 shellacking. Will Bruin got the job done. It's just gone from bad to worse for United. Houston knows DC is on the ropes. And so they attacked them from the get-go. They imposed their will, got the goals, and then you saw the heads just sink, the shoulders sink for DC United. This is a team in a crisis of confidence. They say that's not the case. But it is. You have Ben Olsen calling out players, calling them part-timers, talking about his job being on the line. It's an ugly situation in D.C. Yes, yeah, certainly something to watch over the coming weeks. You can check out all the coverage of both those games on MLSsoccer.com. Well, I mentioned it in the opener, late drama, the name of the game in a couple games here on Wednesday night. The big one in Kansas City. Sporting just do not seem to be able to get it done late on against the Seattle Sounders, Simon. A nil-nil draw. It looked to be until Jimmy Traore in the last seconds. What an error by the KC defense. Absolutely, and it's Aurelien Kalen, unfortunately for him. Uh, Peter Vermees pointed the finger at Kalen for even causing that throw-in to begin with. Then the throw-in comes in the box, he whiffs, and there's Jimmy Traore, knows what to do with the ball. Already his second goal, I saw a stat, he had scored two goals in 10 years of playing in Europe, already has two goals this year for Seattle. They win it, fairly even game, they canceled each other out, Seattle and Kansas City. It was destined for a nil-nil draw before that goal. Yeah, Seattle has been dominant against Kansas City in MLS play, six wins, yep. only one Lost. The other big uh, dramatic moment here on Wednesday night, Ole Miss Garcia getting the winner for Real Salt Lake, but it was a moment after that, Nick Romando saved RSL from a late draw. New England get a penalty kick after they cough up the lead. They sat back, let RSL back into it. RSL take the lead 2-1, to one, then the penalty kick. And you see Sire Sen and Jerry Bankston fighting for who's going to take it. And Sire Sen, if you're going to win that battle and win that argument, you got to convert. Not a good PK. Nick Romando comes up big. PK is an issue for MLS players this year. With that win, RSL now in second place in the Western Conference. The leaders, though, continue to be FC Dallas. A 1-1 draw in Dallas, although the Portland Timbers, Simon, are not happy about that PK call. You can watch that play on MLSsoccer.com. Moving across the pond, plenty of storylines for Americans plying their trade in Europe. Two to look out for today, both Charlie Davies and Josie Altidore going for domestic club glory. But Simon, we're going to focus on Clint Dempsey and his Champions League dream. There are two games left for Spurs. They drew 2-2 yesterday with Chelsea, but they're a point back of Arsenal, and it looks like he may not get to the promised land. Yeah, he moved to Tottenham purposely to get into the Champions League, and they're one point away. So it's going to be a battle between Tottenham and Arsenal down the stretch with two games left. I think Tottenham may have the edge here because Arsenal, they have to face Wigan, and then they go to Newcastle, two teams that I think can be in very desperate situations. Look, Tottenham, they're facing the likes of Stoke and Sunderland. They're not too far better off, but I think Tottenham against the opposition they're facing, more likely to get results than the desperate ones at Arsenal. Well, certainly watch out for that one. Will he accomplish his dream? Another English Premier League note, Tal Ben Haim, center back for QPR, also has played for Bolton and Chelsea in his day. He is going on loan to Toronto FC. Ryan Nelson linking up with one of his former teammates. Also on MLSsoccer.com today, Inside the Mind of Chalice, part two. If you didn't watch part one, make sure you get that one in. Part two will come out today. And also, Extra Time Radio, Simon and I discussing all the moments of the day as well as the weekend ahead. That's all we have here on The Daily on Thursday. We'll catch you on Friday.